Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to go ahead and shout out Shayna Knight. Shayna was one of the first ones to send me this story and once again it's coming from our fifth favorite state, Nutty Ass New York. So what's going on now in Nutty New York, you ask? What's going on is that we have a case of the Jordans, okay? So what's going down is that we have a 17 year old. His name is Zachary Sams and basically he responded to a Craigslist ad. That was put up by a 39 year old man named Philip Pierre and he had some new retro Jordans and he was selling them for $200. So Zachary hit him up to meet up with him. Um, so what's so crazy is that Zachary goes to meet with this man, he gets in the man's car, and instead of giving him the $200 for the Jordans, he ends up pulling out a gun on this man, threatens to blow his brains out if he doesn't give him the Jordans. The man ends up giving him the Jordans, Zachary ends up getting out the car, and he's just walking down the street like everything's all sweet. The dude ends up making a U-turn and literally runs over Zachary, pins him up against the fence, Zachary ends up losing his arm. His arm gets left at the scene. He gets up and he starts running. He tries to get on the Metro bus. The man jumps out of his truck, follows Zachary onto the bus, tells the bus driver that Zachary just put out a gun on him. The situation is just insane. The bus driver ends up calling the police and both Zachary and Pierre end up going to jail. Zachary goes to the hospital. Pierre, the one who was robbed, is now in jail and he's looking at attempted murder charges. Zachary's in the hospital fighting for his life. Right now he's in serious condition and he's looking at robbery charges. This entire situation is nutty as hell. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Calla, the driver of that SUV, as you said, in trouble with the law, just about a half hour ago, arraigned on several charges. The top one being attempted murder. He's being held on a $100,000 bond. Everybody still talking about this story, not just because of how crazy it is, but because it was caught on camera. It all started over a pair of Jordans. 17 year old Zachary Sam connected with 39 year old Philip Pierre on Craigslist on Friday to buy a pair of sneakers. Surveillance video shows they met around one near Avenue M and East 84th Street in Canarsie, where police say Sam got into Pierre's Honda SUV and pulled out a gun. The teen allegedly stole the sneakers, and you can then see him slowly walking away and crossing the street. Sam, however, only managed to make it 100 yards with the shoes, and when the driver made a U turn, stepping on the gas and then struck him. Him. The teen was pinned against the fence and his right arm was completely severed. Missing his arm, police say then Sam ran off and tried to jump on an MTA bus. Pierre caught up with him again, yanked him off of the bus and told the driver he'd robbed him. Sam escaped again and ran home where he collapsed outside. An ambulance took Sam and his severed arm to Brookdale Hospital. Doctors reattached his arm Friday night. Meanwhile, Pierre's cousin, who didn't want to go on camera, said his actions were done in self-defense. You tell me if somebody pointed a gun at your head and told you he's going to blow it up and the gun jam, what would you do? And that 17-year-old has also been charged. He's been charged with robbery and criminal possession of a weapon. He will most likely be arraigned by his bedside at Brookdale Hospital, where he is currently recovering. We're live in Brooklyn tonight. Christina Bear. All right, so you guys Sullivan. just watched that news clip. And this whole situation is just really disturbing. You know, like I always say, I don't understand why we've gotten to a point in society where we have put materialism and material items on a pedestal over human lives, over other people. It makes no sense that you would go out with the intentions of robbing somebody, putting a gun to somebody's head over some damn Jordans. You know, just makes no sense whatsoever. You have a lot of people now willing to do time over some J's. And the crazy thing is, it's almost like this young man got instant karma. Not only did he lose his pair of J's, but he also lost his arm at 17 years old. But what's also crazy is that the so-called victim is looking at attempted murder. Am I saying that this man should have took these steps and basically you know ran this young boy over I do feel like that was a bit extreme but I do understand it you know somebody just put a gun to his head and unless you've had a gun pulled out on you and put to your head you don't know how you would react in that situation and for this young boy to be walking across the street like everything is sweet like he can't be touched he was foolish you know you would think that he would have had enough common sense after he robbed that man to bail out of there, to literally run backwards or run onto incoming traffic so the man couldn't do nothing to him. But instead, he's just walking down the street like it's a sunny day, like it's all good in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, and like the man in the damn SUV won't run his ass over. 
You know, this is a life lesson for this young man. And while it's sad that he lost his arm in this process, I can't feel bad for him. You know, you have too many people out here who don't want to work for anything. They'd rather just rob other people of their hard earned money. But some people out here are just straight up evil and they will rob and potentially kill you over some stupid ass material possessions. You know, so I just find this whole situation crazy, but I don't think that the man who was robbed and had the gun put to his head, I don't think that he should be charged with attempted murder. You know, did he go to an extreme? Yes, he did. But again, he was just recently traumatized by having that gun put to his head. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how all this plays out. It's gonna be interesting to see if they end up dropping the charges on the driver or if they end up pursuing the charges. But as far as a young man who lost his arm, you know, while it's unfortunate that he lost his arm, I can't shed any tears for him because he had no problem robbing somebody and putting a gun to an innocent person's head over something as stupid as some damn Jordans. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation that's once again coming from our fifth favorite state, Nutty Ass New York. And if you have not already, make sure you guys subscribe to both of my channels, Lovely T 2002 and Lovely T 2013. Don't forget to share my videos, comment, rate, and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.